Hi, I'm Dr. Peters with Peters Wellness Chiropractic and Massage. This week's quick video, I want to talk about stress and low back pain. It wasn't the plan for this week, but this week's handout is regards to that. And it, the, the handout, it talks about, you know, what came first, the stress, you know, the work stress, the, the environment stress, the home stress causing us to uh, not function properly and end up with some low back pain. Or is it, you know, you stressed yourself physically and you have low back pain and now the emotional, all the other things cause more stress. The reality is, I don't think it much matters which came first. The key is to recognize it for yourself. And is it that your life is so hectic and you have so much going on or you're in the middle of maybe going to school and, and going to night classes or you've got two, two little children at home or three little children at home and you and your wife are both working or you and your husband are both working and you're all over the place and you're having to drive an hour to work each way and you know, you're just not getting enough sleep and rest and you're ending up having emotional stress which then can come through with low back pain or neck pain or shoulder pain or whatever it might be. So a couple of things. One, um, as most of you know, I'm in the process of, of writing my first book uh, which should be out here by the end of the year. But in one of the chapters I wanted to talk about some of the key things that are important to better health and things that you can do for yourself. And I listed them off here. And you guys hear me talk about it all the time, but I'm going to list them because even though they're so basic, some people need to get back to the basics. So number one, water. Okay. Number two, foam roller. Why myofascial release so important? Stretching so easy to do every day. Just come up with a routine. Exercise. Are you exercising? Are you working on a regular basis to release stress and to feel healthier and to feel better? Are you eating properly? You know, eating donuts and drinking a Mountain Dew really isn't a healthy lifestyle. I know I used to do it when I was in high school. Not a good habit. Um, reading. Are you taking time to read on a regular basis? You know, I remember one of the books I read, the whole goal of it was you, it took about three minutes to read what they call the, these scrolls and you read about three minutes three times a day, which was a total of nine minutes a day. And you'd be amazed at how much you can get read if you only read a few minutes every day. And you know, read something of value, okay? Um, thinking time. Do you take, you know, 10 minutes of just like thinking a mentor of mine said, and I love it. Do you just take 10 minutes and no electronics, nothing, and just sit and think and really think about your life and where you want to go? Um, the other thing, obviously, is Consistency, consistency in all that you do, and obviously coming down to time management, managing your time. And some people, oh, you you don't manage time. Time manages you. Or, um, you know, Tony Robbins. I say it all the time. He comes up with the term of time mastery, and I, and I love it. In his book, Awaken the Giant Within, he's got a section in there that is just fantastic. If you're having issues with time management. Another book I'd like to recommend, I read it last year, I reread it again in the beginning of this year. And uh, a quick title, I don't know the full title, but it's called Oola, O-O-L-A. And it was written by David Braun and Troy Amdahl. I don't know either of these gentlemen, but my wife actually turned me on to the book. And I was like, I know a lot about all this stuff, but I'm gonna read it anyway. And what I love about it is they break down goal setting in a really neat fashion. And they call it the seven F's of Oola. If you don't know what Oola is, go and look it up. It's, it's, it's a neat term. And they talk about fitness, finance, family, field, faith, friends, and fun. Those are the seven areas of to do goals in. And I really enjoy that. I like the way they've simplified it. And, you know, I'm constantly updating my goals. I'm constantly trying to come up with new things to challenge myself. And if you are finding the results of too much stress, whether it's coming up as low back pain or headaches or neck pain, you know, take a look at what you really want. What is your why? Why are you doing what you're doing? Because if your why is big enough, the little stressful things that come up, you know, I mean, you just work through. I remember last year in August, I was on the floor for two days. I couldn't stand up. My back went out. It wasn't due to stress. I turned a little bit and I hit the floor. You know, sometimes these things happen, even if you're doing everything right. You know, and then within a couple of days, you start moving a little bit and you get doing a little bit better and you, you just recover. If your why is big enough, you don't have time for this stuff. You need to knock it out and move on and move forward and learn those lessons and move on. 
So have a great week. Know what your why is, why you're doing the things you're doing. And if you're doing something that isn't moving you closer to what you want, stop doing it. Do something that's going to move you towards your dreams and your success. Have a great week.